Well, hello, hello. You already know it's your girl. My name is Nisha Stewart. And when it comes to my beautiful kings and queens here on YouTube and all around the world, I just want to say to you guys, welcome. How you guys doing? And you already know my channel is called Let's Talk and Eat. Well, we already know this is a whole new week. Okay, Monday made it. Okay, hope you guys had a beautiful and safe weekend. Now I know when it comes to where I'm located at, it's cold and chilly, but we still made it to see another day. But my topic today is, okay, single parents life experience. Okay, when it comes to us being single parents, kings or queens. And you have beautiful children in your life. And you have that experience when it comes to being a single parent. It's a tough, tough job. Let's be honest. It really is. But when it comes to that, always remember that you got a beautiful gift in front of you. It could be a little king or a little queen. But always remember, okay? When it comes to being a single parent or you are have became a single parent, I know it's a tough situation because not only you are trying to make maintain and trying to make things imposs impossible in your child's life, but at the same time, you got to have the strength for yourself as well because you're not alone. You have a beautiful gift right along with you. Now, as us being single parents, sometimes the stress be coming, sometimes the pain come as well. But at the same time, you always got to remember that you got a beautiful gift right in front of you. That is you all over again. And when I say the meaning of you all over again, when you had um, carried that seed, or could see that beautiful gift. It's you all over. Now when I was growing up. I always heard my beautiful grandmother. May her rest in heaven. And my beautiful auntie. That when I have a child of my own. Don't be surprised. That child gonna give you H-E-L-L. -L like I have done to them. And you know what? It's true. Us as us being parents of our own. We have to look at our beautiful gift and say, you know what? Yeah. You give me problems. But then I got to remember I had gave my parents and my family members problems as well. When you look at that beautiful child of yours, it's you all over again. To the point that sometimes they eat like you. Sleep the same position you do. Make the crazy looks or when they're about to tell a false information. Or even a laughter. When you have a beautiful gift that you had created right in front of you. All you can do is look at that beautiful child of yours and laugh. Or children. But always remember. Them beautiful gifts that's in front of you is you. And me per se, when it comes to my oldest child, sometimes we bump heads. Why? It's because my oldest child have a part of me in her. To the point sometimes I can't I can't deal with her. But then I have to remember and be like, wow, certain things she's doing, I have done it to the family members. I've done it to my mom. And all I can do is say, you know what? It's not karma. It's the lessons that we had to learn as us being parents when we had gave out problems to our parents and family members. <laughs> so it's just like coming back on us. But not only that, it's a lesson as well. Okay? Because we have our children in front of us. When we have a beautiful gift in front of us, be thankful. Even though sometimes they make mistakes. Let them know loud and clear. 
I'm there for you. But sometimes when you make mistakes, I got to do what I got to do as being a parent. But always remember, I love you. Now, you know, we have some children that give us so many problems that we our hair turning gray. <laughs> and that's why I wear a lot of wigs. But at the end of the day, when I receive that gray in my hair, I'm getting wisdom. I'm getting knowledge. Not only that, a little stress. But when I look in my beautiful baby's eyes, and see me all over again. All I can do is just say wow. It's another me here on earth. And I know some of you parents feel the same way. Every time you look at your son. Or your daughter. And you just stare at them and be like wow. It's another me here. And we do everything we can as parents. To make sure no harm. But love and care. Now, I know I just jumped right into it and I forgot to do what I normally do, but I'm gonna just be honest. I have my coffee, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm drinking out of my cancer cup because you know I'm a cancer. You know, we are caring, loving people. We can't help it, but we can be serious and strict. And that's why a lot of people love us. Even though we have little mood swings. We could be crabby patties. But we give out so much love. We are protectors. That's why so many people love cancers. <laughs> Kings or queens. But not only that. I got my cookies and cream cupcake. Okay. I got that to the side. It's in the afternoon. So this is like, to me, lunchtime. But right about now, I got my cookies and cream. Cupcake, I'm going to let it thaw out a little because I had it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. But you know, I'm going to drink my coffee. But let's get back into it. As us being adults, parents, and we have children, sometimes we got to remember that we're not by ourselves anymore. And not only that, when it comes to our children, sometimes our children may feel like we don't love them. We don't care about them. Because sometimes we don't show them that emotion. You know why? When it comes to you children, if you are watching and listening, because some of your parents have grew up without hitting the word love. Not really getting that affection like they should. But always remember. Love is a powerful word. Love can be used for good. And love can be used for bad. But when you know. Physically, mentally, emotionally. When someone say the word. I love you you will feel it in your heart you will feel it especially if they look you dead in the eyes so when it comes to my beautiful children if you have parents that really didn't say the word to you or really didn't show that love to you like you want them to show you Give them a hug. Sons. Kiss your mom on the forehead. On the cheek. Even though she push you away. Be like uh -huh, come here woman. <laughs> when it comes to the fathers. Now we already know. Dads are. Really that not emotion. They got to be the man. They got to be tough. They got to have that. They don't want to show their weakness. Especially. Sometimes when it comes to the uh, daughters. That's how fathers get their heart melt. Daddy's little girl. But regardless of who the child is. Son or daughter. 
always make sure and show them love. Even though they act up. Because just remember, parents, we had act up as well. But when it comes to our children, no matter what they do, good or bad, let them know they're not by themselves. Let them know they do got love around them. Even though you didn't get it when you was older. When you was growing up. Let me take that back. When you was growing up. Sometimes love. The word love. Can break. That cold heart. That have ice around it. Now when it comes to my. Beautiful children. And I like to say this. Children of the night. It's an old school song. I think it was about a stylist. Children of the night. When it comes to my beautiful children of the night. You're looking for someone just like you. To share you company. I always remember. Sometimes. Look for the right company. That you are expecting because sometimes people use the word love in a negative way when you hear the word love and somebody say I love you make sure it's coming from the heart you will feel it just like when it comes to parents Sometimes us parents feel like our children don't love us. May feel like they don't care about us. Sometimes you got to break that cycle as well when it comes to their heart. Because their heart became cold. Keeping up a guard. Got their fences up. Because they may feel like you may not love them. Sometimes you got to break the ice. But you got to have the right equipment to break it or melt it. When it comes to the ice being around that cold heart that once was warm. So when it comes to my single parents, kings or queens, or you have become single parents. Always remember and let them know that they're not by themselves. Always let them know that, hey, I understand what you're going through. I went through it too. But let me guide you so you'll know what to do on your path. Because just like I said in my last video, when you beautiful children become teenagers going in your adulthood, you're on your own path. Your parents already received theirs. Now it's time for yours. But like I said, sometimes us parents didn't get that love like we wanted when we was growing up. Now that we have a beautiful gift in front of us, which is our children, let them know. Hey, I love you. No matter what. And children, sons and daughters, let your parents know as well. Especially if you're adults now. Give them a call. Go visit them out of nowhere. Let your parents know that, hey, mom, dad, I love you. You do not know what that do to a parent and vice versa. Parents, you don't know what that do to a child. Because love, the word love is very powerful. That's a powerful word to use. You know why? It's because of that word comes from father and his family. Yes, you know I'm going to bring spiritual in here. That's how it gets down. Father show us love every single day. 
Sometimes we go through the ups and we go through the downs. But as us being who we are, human, him and his beautiful family always make sure they show their love. Think about it. You may be going through a situation on your path and you feel like nobody not around you. Nobody ain't give you no love. You may feel like you by yourself. Then out of nowhere, something come in your life on your path and make you feel like you not alone. Fix something on your path that you would never expect it. May even bring tears to your eyes of joy. That's Father and his beautiful family coming towards you to let you know I'm bringing somebody on your path to let you know we do see all. And we're here to give you love as well. Now when it comes to my children and parents, even though the topic is single parents, let's just say all parents and all children. Have you ever experienced on your path that you heard something, you went to church, or you heard or seen something that was so strong that you broke down and cried? Because if, if hit you in your heart to the point you can't do nothing but break down and share tears it's because you're not realizing that father and his family is right around you hugging you or bringing somebody on your path to give you that hug that you always wanted That lesson, that conversation, love. So when it comes to my topic of the day, is single parents life experience. Regardless, even though we are single parents, always let that child know you there for them. You love them. But they got to go on a path. But as they going on a path. You get in contact with them too. Now I'm one of them type of mother. Even though my child can have her ways. I still will contact her. I still will get in her business. Why? It's because. Love. My children is a part of me and them. So of course. Now when it comes to you beautiful parents. And please don't take it any type of way. When it comes to you beautiful parents that had lost a child. Always remember. That beautiful child is in your next child if you have more than one. They never, they're not, they're not by themselves. they still there in your other beautiful gift. I experienced on my journey coming up in the world. That some parents lose their child and forget about the other one because they so in they so heartbroken about the one they lost. But you gotta remember you got another beautiful gift right there that have that same blood in that next baby, that next child. I had to really think on that. I didn't lose no child physically, 
but emotionally wanting my child is where they at. But I got to remember I still have another one. And when I look at my my daughter, I see my little one and my daughter. Sometimes being a single parent is very hard. It's very hard. But always remember, you are a hero. Not only in your children's eyes, your son, your daughter, but you are also a hero in your eyes. Because you didn't give up. No matter what happened. You didn't give up. You don't realize that you are a gift. My single parents. Kings or queens. You are a gift. And as you being a gift. In father eyes. In his family eyes, you have another gift looking right at you because you didn't give up on them. Now, I know sometimes us single parents, we go through stress, we go through worry. Sometimes parents have PTSD. I'm one of them. But when I feel my post-trauma stress disorder come towards me of me experiencing something from my past, I always try my best to come back to reality. Why? It's because I got a beautiful gift that's in front of me that need me right then and there and I want to make sure as me being my children mother I'm on point sometimes a single parents can't get to that because we went through so much on our journey that we forget where we at but you gotta remember you are never alone. He's your parent. And he watch us every single day. Just like we watch our kids. He watch over us. Even though we are adults. We still his children. Sometimes he put us in time out. But he never stopped loving us. So I know it's very hard being a single parent because I'm one. But you are a hero. Just don't give up. Because as you being a hero, king or queen, or just in general, that beautiful gift which is your child, your children. They look at you as a hero. So I know I'm not going to be on here too long, but I just wanted to say that when it comes to my beautiful babies, children of the night, I don't care what age you are, Baby, be careful. If you feel like you don't got that love around you, trust you, you do. You just got to open up your eyes and open up your heart. And ask for protection from your father that created you. Children of the night. Do not have too much pride to get in contact with your parents. Because some parents be worried, children of the night. 
Some be feared. So when it comes to my children of the night. Let your parents know you are safe no matter what. Because some children don't make it home. Children of the night. I just want to say that loud and clear. As being single parents, it's hard. But you got to remember. It's a repeating cycle. When it comes to you sons and daughters. You repeating the cycle. Because that's how Father got to create it. It's repeating cycles. To see if we learn from our lesson. We got real love. We know how to say the meaning of love. And. Continue on the journey that he has created for you. But always remember, you are never alone. You may think you are, but you're not. Because as soon as you feel that, trust me, Father come in and his beautiful family come in and let you know you are not alone. Okay? So, I've been on here already. I know I ain't drunk that much, but this is very important to me. Topics I do are very important to me. And I just wanted to say that to all my beautiful single parents, kings and queens. When you look at your mini me in front of you, always remember you was just like them that is you all over again but just remember what you experience whatever you went through try to break that cycle and start your beginning with your mini me you have created Show them love. Even though you may get on their nerves, parents, single parents, still let them know they are not alone. And when it comes to you children, when it comes to your parents, even though they get on your nerves too, my babies, but let them know, hey mom, hey dad, I love you and you're not alone as well now that's the real meaning of the word love it's power you just gotta learn how to use it the right way and mean it okay so there you go my beautiful kings and queens yes the topic of the day is single parents life experience hope you like this video you already know what to do like share comment and subscribe and i really appreciate it once again this is nisha stewart let's talk and eat and have a blessed day which is monday whole new week have a blessed day and stay blessed with no stress and Whatever you're going through that's crazy, peace be still. Let your father come in and help his family. Trust me. They got you when you least suspect it. Okay? So, once again, have a good day. And I will see you guys probably later or soon. Okay? Stay blessed.